discuss the detail about the pendulum clock is given. Okay, so here the main thing uh, or the thing which we have to focus is this one only. Dhriti bought a pendulum clock for her living room. The clock contains a small pendulum of length 45 meter. This length is given 45 centimeter. Sorry. The minute hand and hour end of the clock are 9 centimeter and 6 centimeter long, respectively. Now, moving to the question. The question is what is the area swept by the minute hand in 10 minutes? Now, area swept by the minute hand so that if minute hand is coming from here to here that means this area we sh should find here this area which is nothing but area of the sector okay so area of the sector formula we know area theta by 360 into pi r square where theta is the angle between these two so original position of minute hand is this after 10 minutes it will be on this position so what we should know 10 minutes in uh, during 10 minutes what will be the angle formed here so complete circle if we know 360 okay and total from 12 to 12 suppose from 12 to 12 60 minutes we have and in 60 minutes 360 degree angle so in one minute how much it will be? So 360 by 60 we can write and we will get 6 minute. Uh, sorry, 6 degree. So in one minute, this we should know that in one minute, minute hand sweep the area by 6 degree. So we should know up for 10 minutes. So for 10 minutes, it will be 6 into 10, that is 60 degree. Okay. So 60 degree we got the angle, 360 already given, pi value we can write 3.14 or 22 by 7. Our length of the minute hand is given 9, so 9 into 9, okay. So from 9 we can cancel this 4 will go, then 2, 3 is a, okay, and again here 11. So finally we will get 33 into 9 by 7. So I will cancel this 7, 4, 28 we can do. Then uh, 5 will remain 7, 7, 49. So 1 will remain 1. Okay, so 9, 1, 9, 7, 42.39. 42.39 means 42.4 we can consider. Next question is angle described by R and in 10 minutes. So we know in 12 hours, I mean suppose this is a clock, okay, starting from here to here, that is approximately for 12 hours, one complete circle or when a complete angle it make. So 360 degree, 12 hours, 360 degree. So for one hour, it will be 360 by 12. That is, <clears throat> 30 degree okay in one hour 30 degree now we need to count for minutes so one hour means 60 minutes in 60 minutes 30 degree okay so in one minute it will be 30 by 60 if you do you will get half one by two that means we need for 10 minutes so we need to multiply 10 into one by two that is five degree so 5 degree is the answer. It is there in the option. Unlike previous question, option uh, correct answer was not there in the option. Our next question is, what is the distance covered by the tip of R and in 3.5 hours? See, 3.5 hours and R and. R and length is given uh, 6 centimeter. Okay. So, if we treat uh, this clock as a radius, uh, as a circle, so our radius will be 6 cm. Now, distance covered by the tip of R and 3.5 hours. 
Suppose original position is here. After three point five here. Okay. Distance covered means we have to find actually arc length from here to here. So arc length formula we know. Arc length formula is theta by three sixty into two pi r. So r is also given six centimeter. Now we should be we should consider the theta. How to find theta here? Now in previous question I told you one r. This r and make thirty degree angle in one r. Okay. So here three point five r is given. So it will make three for three r it will make ninety degree. Okay. And for uh, half an r it will make half of thirty. Right. So for 3.5 hours, we can say 90 plus 15. That is 105 degree. So our theta is 105 divided by 360. 2 into 22 by 7, and this is 6. So cancellation we can do now. From 6 directly we can cancel. This also we can cancel. 3. Okay. Again we can cancel. From two, fifteen will come. Now from five, if we will want to cancel five, three is a fifteen. Twenty one will remain. Seven into three, twenty one, and three three also cancel. So final answer is eleven centimeter. Eleven so centimeter is there in A option. So whenever distance covered by the tip means arc length, okay, and this angle we should find. According to the this given thing, we know one r thirty degree. Okay, in previous question, I derived this why one r is equal to thirty degree. Next question is if the tip of the pendulum covers a distance of sixty six. Now we have been given one pendulum also of length forty five degree. Ah, uh, sorry, forty five centimeter. Okay, so it is also oscillating between. Mean to extreme position like this. Okay, this is the suppose initial condition, and then after oscillating and covering a distance of 66 centimeter. This distance is 66 centimeter given. What is the angle described? So we have been given arc length actually. Distance covered by the pendulum means arc length given. Arc length formula we know theta by 360 into 2 pi r. So this is given sixty six. Theta we should find, and R is also given. Here R we will take length of the pendulum will be treated as radius of the circle if it oscillate like this. You know it will make a circle. So forty five centimeter. So cancellation we can do here. <coughs> From uh, directly this L twenty two three is a sixty six we can cancel. Then all the terms all the numbers we will take to the left hand side. Two into forty five is equal to theta. So now two one is a eight is a okay one eighty. So this we can cancel from three. Uh, directly one eighty can be cancelled from three. So theta will be twelve into seven. This will be eighty four. Eighty four again is not in the option. Maybe forty eight. They have misprinted. Okay. So eighty four is the answer. Next 